What does this, this, and all this have in common? This. So how did a denim brand from Greensboro, North Carolina become so iconic? Well, the seeds of Wrangler were sown by C.C. Hudson in 1904 through the Blue Bell Overall Company, dedicated to producing quality, durable work clothes. In the late 1940s, Blue Bell saw how cowboys embodied that American grit, freedom, and independence. So they called on Rodeo Ben, a prolific Polish tailor who had earned the trust of rodeo cowboys. Together they questioned, tested, and redesigned jeans to create the first cowboy cut, the 11MW. And Wrangler was born. Riders and rodeo legends alike approved. And when cowboys wore Wrangler, everyone followed. In the 1960s, Wrangler went international. It became synonymous with the exact moment the word teenager was coined and created the iconic cowboy cut that we still wear today. In fact, by 1969, the summer of love, Wrangler was America's favorite denim brand. And throughout, they always stayed true to their roots. Then came the 70s, when Wrangler did a world first in artist collaborations, as fashion pivoted from practical to emblematic of self-expression. As we entered the 80s, the fads moved from flares and color to a revival of no-nonsense realness, and Wrangler solidified its place in our consciousness through film, music, and sports. You see, Wrangler didn't like just fitting one mold, and by the 90s, it was embedded in the fabric of mainstream culture. And then... This happened. And this happened alongside. An explosion of momentum as the brand cemented its place in culture. Right up until this very moment. 75 years of our cowboy spirit on this wild ride. And you can bet we'll spend the next 75 pushing new frontiers. Here's to the cowboy in all of us. Wrangler, for the ride of life.